Yeah, that <laughs> that's culturally insensitive. Thomas Godfrey 47. What are the plans for future videos? Are you gonna try resin printers? Case in point. I may look particularly shit today, and that's because I've been sick. So with that being said, let's continue with the QA. Benser86, how much do you make off YouTube? Ugh. Controversial topic, you're not supposed to answer. I make three to eight thousand dollars each month before taxes. After taxes, I have enough left to buy myself a freaking McDonald's cheeseburger. Uh, Mr. Shaw, uh, uh, best 3D scanner at affordable price. Uh, there are none. You better use your phone and do photogrammetry. Uh, what do you think about the Tesla Cybertruck? No. Uh, are you gonna get a lathe for use on future projects? Yes, I have big plans for my garage outside because it feels like I can do nothing in here Because this room was a, in fact a bedroom before I got here and this is still connected to the rest of the house Welding in here not really appropriate uh, Because I've really been looking forward to play with a little bit more serious toys like the welder and lathe a, a cutting tool and do some serious electric vehicles that would be Thumbs up from Simon. So I want to get into 3D printing. What CAD software should I use? Fusion 360, easy answer. Uh, what started this whole YouTube channel? Love your stuff, by the way. Well, thank you, Sec. I started doing radio controlled airplanes. I might put a little video up here and there. And I do have one project in mind, and that's doing a F-18 Blue Angel. The Grand Day of all Notre Dames has been on for 122 hours and it's completed 56%. Perfect. All right, the question from Marcus, what is the best starter 3D printer? I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that the Creality Ender 3 is gonna be a pretty darn good choice. It's, it's usually less than $200. The printing quality is often better than some of my high-end 3D printers. The build volume is decent. It's fairly quiet and it can print most materials. Creality Ender 3, number one. CR10S Max, CR10S Pro, Ender 3, number two and the Creality V2, I think it's called. The Frozen Transform with another Notre Dame fail. Very nice. Uh, I do keep them down here because some of them are quite noisy and uh, it also removes the toxic fumes of doom. Are you planning to get a 3D printer from metal? Well, I did have a project in mind a year ago. I might still have it. It would 100% wreck the printer. But did anyone try this though? 1.75 millimeter solder. I bet you it could work. Uh, Thomas got a question. You saw my basement, dude. No further analysis is needed. Uh, do you recommend the Insta 361X? Uh, this is the Insta 360 One X and it's a 360 camera that provides a whole new perspective I don't think we have seen that too much on YouTube yet. I love putting this on radio controlled boats I'm not sure if it's necessarily worth the money It still bugs out in the software and it's not waterproof. It's not even water resistant So doing something like this is pretty stupid Can you make an underwater scooter with the Aquastar motors? Take a look at this underwater scooter that I sketched up this summer. Just never got around doing that project. 
Though I wasn't planning on using, I wasn't planning on using the Aquastar motors. I was thinking about using a trolling motor. Is that weird? Uh, maybe it is. Everything I do is weird. Do you have a powder or resin 3D printer? What do you think about these technologies? Yes, the frozen transform. I, I wanted to raise this question again because I don't feel like I was completely finished with the last one. A DLP printer works by a UV screen that lights up a UV sensitive resin and it cures on very specific place and it, places and it does it very accurately. And that's why you can see significantly higher details from a DLP 3D printer rather than a normal 3D printer as we like to call them FDM. The little Notre Dame that I did, I would never in a million years be able to do that on a normal FDM 3D printer. It just would never happen. I, I, at least I couldn't do it. And it also prints exceptionally faster because it does the entire layer at once. How old am I? I'm, I'm 24. I just turned 24, but I feel like do you do YouTube for a living or do you have a job? If so, what's your job? I have done YouTube for the past three years. Us millennials, we never have a job. Where in Sweden do you live? I live in the southern part of Sweden. Sweden is very long, so you know, it's still called the southern part, but it really shouldn't. And uh, I'm just gonna do a Google Earth kind of zoom in, so that there, there you can see where I live. Is your evil clone holding you hostage? Blink 42 times if yes. Yeah, you know what? I think this box is probably the best representation of the... Oh, Jesus. This is just the tools that I most commonly use. The hot glue gun, obviously. You would look pretty silly as a DIY YouTuber without your hot glue gun. Heating gun, soldering station, Dremel. You know, just the crucial for survival. What else do I have? You know, this is just some heat sinks, healthier and, and uh, fan setups. Brushless motors. A little bit of everything. Uh, glues and paints. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Cables, cables, cables. You know, that, that's, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Yeah? Good guy Simon obviously posted the world map, the files for Simon 2.0, as well as the tree. Completely for free, obviously. Only for you. Will you ever do a fan meetup? 3D Meetup Sweden, March 14th, I'll be there, 2.0 will be there, it's gonna be freaking epic. Dream project. Well, the electric powered surfboard is pretty high on the list. I have all the stuff for it too. 36 volts, 16 amp hours, freaking bomb. Two of these Aquastar motors, and two of these jet drive units. All I need is a stand up paddleboard and not ice on the lakes. You know, it's kind of crucial. I had an idea to 3D print myself an entire boat that I could sit in and you would hook up a steering wheel and a trolling motor on the bottom and you would just drive around, I suppose. Uh, the one project, it just blows my mind, it's genius. You, you 3D print a full-size alligator or a crocodile and you split up the body in three pieces so the tail is independent as well as the head and you hook that up to servos. I think Mythbusters did this at one point. This was a, a big scary machine that had jaws and uh, you know you make the jaw of death open up uh, you put the small RC boat on the bottom so you can drive it around and you scare the living crap out of people The clothing that I'm selling on Teespring is now 20% off if you use the discount code HOLIDAY20. Okay, I think that will have to do for the Q&A. Don't forget to like this video or Simon 2.0 will haunt your house. Have a nice day.